congratulations uh, on the performance, not so much or your personal performance, sorry, not so much the team performance. Um, what do you kind of take out of a game like that where, you know, you, you probably uh, should have should have won in the circumstances having seen the early sending off? But Yeah, it's pretty disheartening, to be honest. I think every game that we've played in and from what I've seen, there's no doubt that we're probably the strongest team in the league and it doesn't show at the moment because we're not sitting on top. So, yeah, it's hard that we're not closing out the games. You know, we've gone up a few times. You know, last week against South, 2-0 up, let it slip. Same again tonight with an extra man. So we're going to have to do something to rectify that and make sure that we can, you know, get the three points each week like we really do deserve. So hopefully, yeah, things change. And do you reckon it's just a, a case of taking your chances or do you think it's more of a, a mental thing? I, I wouldn't say it's a mental issue, you know. It is tough being on the end of results like that when you don't come off the way it should be. But, you know, I, I think taking our chances is one thing we probably can do a bit more of. But in saying that, we're still conceding goals. So if we can just, you know, shut up shop at the back and make sure we're really well structured, keep the goals out, we're always going to have a goal or two in us. So... So long as we can put them away, I'm sure we'll start getting three points week in, week out. And uh, what kind of statement do you think you have to make next week as a team uh, backing off these two uh, performances, the two draws? Yeah, there's no doubt we just have to come out and win. You know, I'm not sure who we're playing against, but... Nights. Melbourne Knights. Away. Uh, Knights. Yeah, OK. Well, that's going to be a tough game. They're sitting on top, I'm pretty sure. So, But I'm sure if we go out, stick to our structured game, which Johnny's got us playing, there's no doubt we'll be a stronger team. And if we can just finish the chances, keep the goals out... I think it's only up from here. And in your own performances this year, um, obviously you've been one of those that have had to kind of bide their time on the bench for the first couple of games, but now you seem pretty well trenched into the first XI and you're playing some really good football. So how pleasing is it having made the move to kind of get that regular football and start to show your worth? Yeah, it's good. You know, I came down here to play, obviously, and test myself in probably the best state league in the country. And, you know, I came down with a bit of an injury and started to get fit, another little injury to my ankle and you know luck wasn't really going my way but hopefully now I can continue to play and just do the job for the team like all the other players so it's good though it keeps you you know on your toes because everyone's testing you for spots and you know the depth we've got is insane so so long as I can keep playing well and do my best yeah I'm sure it will benefit the team. And is there a position that you'd rather play in do you like that centre back role more or is it are you enjoying your time in midfield at the moment? Yeah, I don't mind whether I play centre back or that holding midfield role. I'm not too fast. I think I do both okay. And yeah, whichever he wants to utilise me as, I'm fine by that. On a personal uh, note, how are you settling into uh, Melbourne, uh, Victorian football, and just in general? How's the move from Queensland been like for you? Yeah, it's been a good move for me. You know, like I said, I just wanted to challenge myself and play the best standard I can. and no disrespect to the Queensland League, but it's, you know, a huge step up to the Victorian League. And, yeah, I'm glad I did it, you know. I I'm, I think I chose the right club and I'm really enjoying my time here. And now that I'm fit and starting to get more minutes and, you know, play my game, yeah, I'm really happy. So, Is it easier having the Queensland boys with you? Obviously, Chris was a teammate at Palm Beach Sharks. Matty Total was the Brisbane Strikers. I think Tyson and Liam, both are Queensland boys themselves. Yeah, it's been easy settling here. You know, I live with Matty and Liam. And obviously, playing with Chris last year, I know him well, and Tyson too. So, yeah, no, it's been a lot easier settling, knowing a few boys. But, yeah, no, I'm glad it's all happened and it's starting to work out the way I planned. So what's the, uh, what's the ambition for you? Uh, is it to kind of settle yourself here? Would you have a crack at the A-League or is that...? Uh, it's, like, if a chance came coming, of course I'd take it, but, you know, I, I haven't really come down here to specifically focus on getting an A-League contract. I just know this is going to test me, improve me as a player, and that's all I can ask for, and whatever else comes, comes, I guess.